Citizens speak out. People continue standing up for principles such as freedom of speech, humane treatment, and governments that serve the highest goals of fellow citizens as they gather in countries such as Bahrain, China, Egypt, Iran, Libya, Senegal, Sudan, Syria, Turkey, and Yemen. Egypt. On Tuesday, Egypt's Supreme Administrative Court ordered the dissolution of nearly 1,800 local councils that had been formed during the regime of former President Hosni Mubarak. This decision meets one of the major demands of pro democracy protests. And according to Giza Mayor Ali Abdel Rahman, represents a step forward in government reform as completely new council members are required to be elected within 60 days. Senegal, with frustration growing over cost of living increases and recent power cuts in what was once one of Africa's most stable democracies, Senegal's capital city Dakar on Tuesday became the latest to see unrest flaring into violence as protesters set fire to several government buildings and attacked the electricity company. A group of youths also destroyed a bar and set fire to a Jehovah's Witness temple, accusing the church of promoting alcohol consumption, with Interior Minister Usman Ngom later speaking out against their actions, as he affirmed that freedom of religion is guaranteed in the country. China and Sudan A Sudanese president, Omar al-Bashir, arrived for meetings in Beijing, China on Tuesday, June 28. International organization Human Rights Watch declared its objection to the decision to host his visit. The group stated that there is an arrest warrant outstanding against the Sudanese president from the International Criminal Court for Crimes Against Humanity in Darfur and that welcoming him to another country reflects a disregard for the plight of people in Darfur. Iran. The Kalema, a website belonging to former Iranian Premier Hossein Mousavi, reports that documentary filmmaker Manaz Mohammadi was arrested in her home Sunday, while photojournalist and women's rights campaigner Maria Majda was arrested the previous Friday. Turkey, Ajans France Press, reports that jailed Kurdish leader Abdullah Öcalan stated on Monday that he had recently sent several peace proposals to the Turkish government intended to bring an end to 26 years of conflict through the suggestion of constitutional reforms that would facilitate Kurdish autonomy without violence and with a goal of mutual forgiveness. Libya. In a visit to Benghazi on Tuesday, Bulgaria's foreign minister Nikolai Mladenov issued a joint statement from his government and that of Croatia, which announced their mutual recognition of the Libyan activist National Transitional Council as the legitimate representative of the Libyan people. Minister Mladenov went on to say that the era of Muammar Gaddafi was over and that it was time for him to step down. Bahrain. Various media reported on Tuesday that Gulf Cooperation Council member states Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates, which sent troops into Bahrain three months ago at the request of the Bahraini government to help quell pro-democracy protests, are now considering troop withdrawals that could begin as early as next week. Yemen. According to Press TV, Yemeni citizens rallied Monday in the capital Sana'a and other cities as people continue to urge for a transitional president presidential council to end the rule of President Ali Abdullah Saleh. Syria. Officials in Turkey on Monday said that the number of Syrian asylum seekers in Turkish camps had decreased to 11,122 after 375 refugees chose to return to their homeland. With grief for the cherished lives lost and those who still suffer, we pray that the turmoil in all nations subsides and that people across the globe may choose to coexist in freedom, dignity and peace.